Hey guys, Brennan here from Be Real VFX with a short tutorial about intro sequences and uh, animated titles. So this is kind of what we're going to be creating today. Flies in, got a nice gleam across it, and then this pops on screen. So we have some nice back shadow here, we have a nice vignette around it, and we have a good animated uh, title sequence. So let's go on into After Effects and let's create a new composition. So new composition. I'm going to keep it comp 1 and 1920 by 1080 square pixels and 29.97. And I'm going to make it 30 seconds long, which will probably be pretty long, but you can always change it in the comp settings later. I like to start out greater rather than less. So hit OK. And here you'll see it normally pops up with this black background but there's actually nothing there if you turn on the transparency button right here which is what I had on before you can see that there's nothing there so I'm gonna go ahead and create a layer new solid so I'm gonna name this BG for background make comp size and make sure it's black or whatever color you want actually I'm gonna make it red I'm gonna make it yeah red and hit OK so we have a nice red background here so let's start by making our text, our title. I'm just going to make it pretty simple. My name. Roughly center it. We can center it later. And I'm going to make it white. White, yep. And I'm also going to make it a 3D layer. If you hit Y, on the keyboard you can go to the uh, anchor point move tool and you're just gonna grab the anchor point here and move it to roughly the center of your title and hit V to go back to the move tool you can also go up here to the tools up here but it's just uh, faster I like it that way so we move the anchor point to the center of our title and we want to do that before we duplicate it to make the uh, background shadow so that the background shadow has the same exact anchor point because we're going to be rotating it uh, on the y-axis to get the spinny the spinny move uh, like in the previous title so we're going to go ahead and duplicate it hit command D or control D if you're on Windows and bring the second one below the first one and while you're still clicked on the second one here go over and make it a darker color darker red, black, gray, whatever you want, and hit OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset it just a bit so we can see what we're doing here. And I'm going to go to Effects and Presets over here, and I'm going to type in Directional Blur. That'll do it. And I'm going to apply that to the second layer. I'm going to make this 180 degrees. So that's facing down. You could do it facing up, uh, but I guess it's just force of habit. And I'm going to extend the blur length out a lot. So we get a nice background shadow there. It looks nice. And I'm going to parent the second one to the first one, the first title. So let's go ahead and click on the first one. Hit W on the keyboard to bring up the rotational tool. And hover over the Y axis. That'll be the green arrow and rotate it to the left. You can see here that that's looking pretty flat. So I'm gonna change that. Hit V and click on the second one, the shadow. Let's rename that. Hit return or enter on your keyboard. And I'm gonna call that shadow. <clears throat> so we don't get confused. I'm gonna take it and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna oh I'm grabbing the background. Make sure you grab the arrow for the Z axis and I'm just gonna move it back a little bit farther from this uh, this text yeah that's good and when I'm happy with that I'm just going to um, rotate it around a little see how it looks yeah that looks good that looks pretty good alright so now I'm gonna set a keyframe right here about two seconds on this so for the uh, the first main title 
um, you want to set a keyframe for uh, all of these. And then go back to here, to the beginning, and you want to rotate it 90 degrees. About. So, we don't need these keyframes. I always forget what is what uh, in uh, the 3D environment. So, we just need the orientation keyframe. So, if you want to highlight these keyframes and hit F9, the Mac users, you might have to hold down Fn when you do that. And that'll bring up the Easy Ease keyframes. So, uh, that, that eases it in, <laughs> like the name suggests. So, save your work. Uh, I, I do that a lot. So, I'm just going to save mine as title, tutorial, and let's save. So, let's check out what we get. I'm going to hit zero on the keypad to bring up a RAM preview. Okay, it's a little slow for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these last two keyframes and I'm move them over to the left. Let's hit zero again. See what we got. All right, that's a little bit better. Uh, but I want it to be a little bit faster. So let's watch it again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's go to the end here and let's center that baby. Let's go to the title action safe over here. Press that, and we're going to go to our first title here because the second one's parented to it, the shadow. And I want to make sure I'm on the move tool, so hit V. And I'm going to center it as best I can. So probably over here somewhere. Somewhere about there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to turn it off again. So what we have is a nice animated title sequence. And what you can do is also go to the opacity, hit T, and set a keyframe for uh, about one or two um, frames in for 100. And then go back to the beginning and make it zero so that you have a nice fade on. And do the same for this uh, shadow layer. And, oops, sorry, hit opacity, keyframe that, and then go back to zero. And uh, so you have a nice fade on. Not uh, not too noticeable, but it's uh, nice because you don't see any harsh, harsh edges or anything. Uh, it, it fades on nicely. Okay, so let's make <clears throat> a new light. I'm going to keep it light, keep all the settings the same and hit OK. So now we're gonna get a little uh, environment uh, reaction here with the title which is always good it uh, adds depth to your scene and uh, it really brings it out so if you want you can make the background uh, layer 3D so that it uh, is perceptible with lights but I'm gonna keep that off because I just want the title to be affected by the lights for now and uh, we'll create a vignette for the background later. Uh, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit Command Shift H to get rid of the light handle. And um, that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to hit uh, Command Shift H again to bring up the uh, handles. That, that'll get rid of, of like these, uh, these handles right here, Command Shift H, just in case you want to view your scene uh, without those in, in the way. So uh, that, that looks good. I'm going to create a vignette now new solid and I'm going to make this black and I'm going to rename it vignette make comp size and hit OK so it's over these other layers and that's okay that's what we want so I'm gonna click and hold on this tool the rectangle tool and I'm gonna let go of my mouse on the eclipse tool and then I'm gonna double click on that so it's gonna create a uh, an oval over our whole image here. And I'm going to go to the mask and click on subtract. And then I'm going to click F for feather and I'm going to feather the crap out of it. And then I'm going to hit T for opacity and I'm just going to bring it down slightly. And that looks about good. So we have a nice vignette there. Our text has some nice uh, lighting to it and uh, we have a nice animation to it. 
So obviously you could change it to however you want. You can add multiple shadow layers to give it more depth, kind of like how I did with the other title sequence that I showed at the beginning. And that can really help um, sell your effect. And in this nice movement right here, this this movement right after the initial uh, spin really also helps with the dynamics of the title because it still has movement and so it makes it more interesting and not as bland so always you you always want movement in your title or whatever you're doing because that's what keeps the audience's eye so yeah uh, so stay tuned for another tutorial soon and thanks for watching alright bye